أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم that only Allah come into our life and teach us holy hadith of Prophet in a depth that is connected to the holy heart of Sayyidina Muhammad They're not merely a translating service where they just take the Arabic and recite it in Urdu for you or in English for you. But to extract from the blessings and the reality that the holy heart of Sayyidina Muhammad wants to convey. So Hadith al-Qudsi is holy hadith, holy sayings and way of Sayyidina Muhammad number 15. That Sayyidina Abu Huraira reported that Sayyidina Muhammad said that Allah says, I am as my servant expects me to be. I am as my servant sees me to be. I mean I'm as he's wishing or she's wishing, I will appear in that way to the servant. And if he remembers me in himself, I will remember him to myself. If he mentions me in a gathering, I will mention him in a greater gathering. So one, there's a gathering of love. There's a time in which to love Allah by yourself and mention and make your dhikr. And there's a time in which Allah is mentioning a gathering that you're coming to Show that love for Allah and Allah Pumbas, so I'm going to mention you in a greater gathering. And when he or she draws near to me by the span of one hand, I will draw near to them the length of a cubic. If he draws to me by these meters, I will draw to him the length of a mile. When he comes to me walking, I will come to my servant running. These teachings when they begin to teach on something, you tafakkur for days, meditate and contemplate for days. Ya Rabbi what, what is the depth of what Prophet was teaching? Just the beginning part alone that my servant will see me in their condition, which is big difficulty now is that everybody meets a religious person makes their understanding about the religion based on the ambassadorship of that person. Not that they meant Allah, not that they really understood or read those holy books, but it's me and you that convey what that belief is. And Allah is saying, there's about seven billion understandings of me. I will appear as my servant is expecting me. So it means imagine how many people are angry and they believe that their Lord is an angry Lord. That they're angry people and, and you can only see in your own condition, you can't see in a condition of perfection. So what Allah warning to Prophet is they're going to only know me through their characteristics, you better start teaching them and purifying their characteristics. So if the person is violent, they come with a belief that their Lord accepts violence. When they're angry, they believe their Lord allows anger and they inflict anger upon everybody. And that's why many people have had religious experiences that are traumatic to them. And they say, I don't want anything to do with God. No, that had nothing to do with God. That had to do with that angry person. That has nothing to do with Allah He wasn't hired as a representative of Allah He's merely angry and he conveys his Lord as someone angry too. 
And Allah says, yes, this is a holy hadith. Right below the level of holy Qur'an is hadith of Qudsi. That he will see me in his condition. So only Allah dispatched onto the earth that clean their condition so that they can understand their Lord and that's why Prophet described who knows himself will know his Rabb. Welcome to Century 21 AAA Realty. We specialize in commercial and residential properties including all your financing needs. We are one stop shop under one roof. Owning a home is a keystone of wealth, both financial and emotional. Don't wait for opportunity, create it. Come meet our award-winning realtors with over 40 years of experience. Call Century 21 Triple A Realty. Knowledge, quality, integrity. Star cares about your best interests and have a wealth of experience to match. We've been in the business 30 years and are here to lead you every step of the way. Whether it's building the custom home of your dreams, doing gorgeous home renovations, building a laneway home, or revamping your commercial space. The start process works. Just ask our hundreds of satisfied customers. We have several properties and the best thing about Star for Life Services is that the work is done in a very timely manner and we're always very pleased with the result. Star, let's make your dreams happen. Call us now to book your free consultation. Prophet described who knows himself will know his Rabb. When he's arif of himself, he'll know his Rabb. Why? Because as soon as you take a path and I want to come shaykh and I want to get to know myself before I want to speak on God's behalf, I want to know myself. So, okay, sit and begin to meditate. We'll train with you, teach you how to meditate, make muhasaba. Take an accounting of yourself. If you have qadab and anger, because the energy that comes is real. The energy is coming and begin to push onto the nas. And only through your meditation and tafakkur you sit and begin to contemplate every night. I just want to meditate. I don't know about all these other religious practices, I just want to meditate, listen to something nice. And my Lord, I want to know about myself. What did I do today that you're not happy with? And who did I harm with my tongue and my actions? Who did we talk bad to and act bad with that Allah won't be happy with? As soon as they take a path of muhasaba, they're sitting every night and, and identifying my sickness. If you don't identify your sickness, you're double jahad. You're ignorant of your ignorance, which is the most dangerous person. That he's under the impression that he's great, and he's <laughs> ignorant, his own ignorance. So what they came is identify the sicknesses and then at least now we have an opportunity to work on them. And then they teach you how to begin to pray and cry. Ask your Lord to take this anger away, take this bad character away. Then the shaykhs have a whole system of training. If you have anger, keep praying that God take it away. And every time you feel angry, go make a washing. 
لو میک وجو پوٹ ووٹر آن یور ہینڈز اینڈ فیس اینڈ سی کل یہ نہ رکنی بردن و سلامن Let the fire to be cool and peaceful so that my bad characteristic is not coming out. So I mean yeah, the importance of, of what they're teaching and what Allah is warning, everybody thinks of me in their state. They think if they saw Allah like that, imagine between me and you of what we think with each other based on our state but it's not necessarily my state that you see. You view me and deem me according to the condition you're in. If you have deficiencies and suspicions then you suspect everybody. I think, oh they're all crooks um, because maybe you're the biggest crook because you don't see people like that. Why? Because if you take what Allah is giving as an advice is then awliya come into our life and say, the only character you should have is a character of love. Allah created all this creation in muhabbat and love. So what's who? Hey and wow. Who is the essence? Qul who? The essence of all of Holy Qur'an. If you understand who, you understood the essence of Holy Qur'an and what Allah wants. In the Arabic who is hey for hidayat and guidance, wow for wadu. So it means that, guide them to my who. And that's why Allah told Prophet قُلْ هُو قُلْ هُو اللَّهُ أَحَدْ It's take them through these categories and these realities but bring them to my who, bring them to hidayat and guidance. And the only guidance accepted by Allah is those whom carry the wow and they guide through muhabbat and khair and goodness and love. Don't guide them through suspicion. Don't be suspicious of people and spreading rumors of people. This is a bad characteristic. This was not the way of Prophet So look at all the different people we know and see all their characteristics. No lanat, there's no lanat, there's no cursing. Allah didn't make this world to be cursed or anyone upon it to be cursed. It's not muhabba, the shaitan playing with you. So it means they took away anger. They said, I don't want to follow a path of angry people and to be angry at everybody. I wanted a path of wadud and muhabbat and love. So then they found the ahbab and Nabi Sasa. Where are you going to find wudud? It's a very systematic program. There's not a philosophy and it's not a guessing process. But these Ahlul who? They are the people of this hidayah and Allah granted them this wow, granted them this wudud, now becomes a reality of magnetism. If you understood that I want to find the people of love, then Allah says, is this what you want? I'm going to send hidayat and guidance to you. Are you ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular situation or which prayer to make for an event or need? The search is over. We bring to you through the Muhammadan Way app, an all-encompassing Islamic guide. A platform where you can find all the surahs from Holy Quran, special du'as and prayers, as well as live zikrs 
and comprehensive Islamic teachings from world-renowned scholars. Download this powerful app now and keep up to date with in-app notifications. Available for download on iOS and Android. Eastern cultures use teas and herbs as an elixir of health and wellness. Rumi Rose Teas revives this ancient tradition with a collection of over 40 delicious hand-blended teas. Enjoy God-given health and wellness within every cup of Rumi Rose Tea. Order online now. There is no guidance except in Allah's guiding. You cannot make your heart go in any direction unless Allah gives it now its magnetic charge. That becomes the magnetism of the heart. Where Allah resides in the heart. Where's your magnetic pull for your entire being? Your heart. Merely Allah when He wants to guide, he sends a pulse, an energy, a polarity to your heart and you immediately become attracted to what Allah want you to be attracted to. So the Prophets were what? They were like magnets for the Divine Presence. When God wants to give us guidance and we submit to a higher power, admit that we're nothing, we're nothing, guidance can only come from God. He says, now you got it, I'm going to put the charge into your heart and like a magnet you're going to be drawn now. And that is the reality of love and wadood. You're going to be drawn to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad And then who are the awliyaullah, who are the ahbab and Nabi They went through the process and their entire being locked. They locked onto their shaykh who's the representative of that light and that light locked on, locked on, locked on until like a magnet they are locked firm onto that reality of Prophet And then Prophet gave them a title, these are my ahbab. Ahbab because also they carry the secret of the bab, the door. They are a door to Prophet It's not empty, I just made them ahbab, real ahbab. They are the people of hub. They have the oceans of a hayat. They carry the secret of the ba, all of Holy Qur'an and Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. All of Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem in the ba. And these ahbab, they're guardians of the door. So it means it's real. Then they begin to teach that the heart is where the polarity and the magnetic charge is going to come. If God enters into that heart, the magnetic charge, you find yourself moving towards the guidance. Pray that God Almighty Allah grant us guidance, I mean, grant us the guidance of love yeah. and to leave the bad characteristic. We can see, we can see, everybody has eyes and ears to see how people are acting with inappropriate characteristic. And when you ask yourself, this person who's teaching or, or, or appear to be teaching or whatever they're trying to do, is it from love and would love do that? Or is it from like a jealousy, a hasad, a bad characteristic? It answers all questions. It take away every type of difficulty and love is the answer for everything. Because if you truly love, you begin to appreciate and show the characteristics of love.
They find love in everything they do. They find Allah's love, God Almighty's love in everything. If you're a servant of muhabbat and real love, not lust, real love, you find the beauty in the flowers. You know that we say, SubhanAllah, that how these flowers are making these beautific smells, how this beautific ocean, how this beautific scenery. If you can be beautiful with nature, imagine then with people. Allah created all these people and He loves them all. And Allah is the only one who can guide them. Is everything about their wujud and their being is muhabbat and love. And then Allah described, then, then you, you hit the jackpot. Because if you see me through love, you see me through the secret that I wanted. I created all this creation in love. And if you're a servant of love, you would be remembering me. Don't you have to remember your wife all the time, your children all the time? Your children move out of your sight, how you become nervous and scared? What Allah is showing? Allah is very jealous and say, oh don't put an attribute to Allah but no, only Allah will come and teach you. When Sayyidina Yaqub salam said, Nur al Ayni, Ya Yusuf, you're the light of my eyes. Allah later, light went out from the eyes and blindness came. How Prophet of Allah you can say like that? Allah has to be the light of your eyes, the light of your heart, the love of your entire being. So Allah is describing for us, I fill you with this love, I fill you with this ishq, it overtake all of your senses for that Divinely light. We pray that Allah address us from those lights, bless us from those lights and give us the best of character so that Allah be pleased with us and dress us from His Divinely secrets of muhabbat and ishq and how everything was created and the bond of everything is based on that love. In the last days this love begins to go and is replaced with hatred. On this earth becomes the abode of hatred. Love is going to be lifted when these great saints and these great awliya are passing away. They are the, the vessels of muhabbat and love. When they go then is replacing it with darkness and hatred. But the few will represent the many. Those whom are left upon the earth with muhabbat, Allah will fill them to the weight of all those that had to be filled with love. If it has to be ten bad, ten good, if it only become two, the two carry the weight of the ten. Means they'll carry all that barakah and all that blessings because the lovers become less and the haters become more. We pray that Allah guide us toward that love, keep us among those lovers and to leave this earth in a state of love and muhabbat. Hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa surat al-Fatiha. The annual Grand Milad brought to you by Hubi Rasul is taking place on November 8th at 6 p.m. Come celebrate the biggest mawlid on the west coast and raise the flags of love for this most blessed occasion. Take part in Salawat, Nat and Kavali recitations. Ziyara of the holy hair of Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Also, enjoy a delicious three-course meal, all included in this free event. Tickets are available now on nurmuhammad.com forward slash events. Oh,
صاحب الزمان مهدی یا صاحب الزمان مهدی شده هم بال پرست تو قسم به چشمون مست تو بکن که میخون روز و شب شده هم جام دست تو شده هم جام دست تو یا صاحب الزمان مهدی یا صاحب الزمان مهدی یا صاحب الزمان مهدی به تو چون سجده می کنم شرر تو هر سینه می زنم به قصه می خوام که بعد از این بوت روی تو بشکنم آی بوت روی تو بشکنم یا صاحب الزمان زمان مهدی یا صاحب زمان مهدی شب هجرون دیگه تمومه گل مهدام بر زن بومه عاشقی جز بر تو حرومه که برای تو زنده ام آی که برای تو زنده ام یا صاحب زمان یا صاحب زمان مهدی یا صاحب زمان از هر خونه به خونه که بگیرم از تو نشونه دل من یک کاسه خونه که برای تو زنده ام که برای تو زنده ام یا صاحب 